So am I the only one who feels a bit overwhelmed with the amount of cameras being produced in the past decade? Like cameras have evolved so much over the past 10 years. It's it's crazy. It's insane. I'm Siobhan Bedford and in this video, I will be talking about the massive growth of cameras over the past decade. Alright, am I in focus? Let me check the monitor. Yes, I'm using the Panasonic Lumix S5 guys, so please forgive my focus. As I was saying, for the past 10 years, cameras have changed drastically, both mirrorless DSLRs, which are now discontinued for the most part, smartphones, camcorders, we've seen action cameras, full on cinema cameras. It's wild the amount of growth which is taking place throughout my lifetime. It's mind blowing. We now have cameras on flying saucers. We have cameras on drones so we can get perfectly crisp aerial footage we don't have to have someone flying in a helicopter anymore we can send our alien saucer in the sky and capture some amazing 4k 8k whatever it is you want 10 bit 12 bit however it is you want because you have cinema drones and you have fpv drones and you have custom built drones you have drones that are built to fly red commodos that's how insane it is in this day and age you have cameras shooting 8k i've heard a company announced a 12k resolution camera 12k resolution uh, yes am i in focus i'm using the s5 guys please bear with me as i was saying i am super excited to go outside to make some content today because i am tired of indoors it's been a while since i've released an outdoor video of this nature talking about information cameras and stuff also please forgive my noisy background because as i said i'm outdoors you might hear some cars birds chirping dogs barking a goat mane you know, I'm being bitten by ants, sorry. Anyways, now is this growth a good thing or a bad thing? Well, I believe it's more of a good thing than it is of a bad thing because with everything you have pros and you have cons. Now one of the cons that might come with this rapid growth and advancement of technology is us not pushing our creative boundaries beyond their current limits like exploring new techniques, trying new trends, trying new new stuff to make our videos pop to tell better stories and to make our videos stand out from other creatives um, some of the pros with this growth in advancement of technology is that companies will now compete more to produce better equipment and camera gear for us as consumers and filmmakers and to also make them cheaper because if Panasonic is making their cameras with phase detection, 10-bit internal shooting 6K, then Sony will have to try and keep up as it relates to features and also the price point because I would choose the Panasonic Lumix S5 Mark II X over the Sony A7 IV any day. That camera is a beast for its $2,200 price point. Well, back to the video. So I believe it's more of a pro for this massive advancement versus it being a con because it will benefit us in every aspect as well as the persons consuming our content they will get cleaner content crisper content i'm out of focus again hold on i'm gonna switch the manual so it will benefit us more than it benefits the companies because we will make the most of what is being offered to us at very competitive price and we can edit more seamless, get more out of our equipment, better resolution, better bitrate, better functionality. Apple ProRes, smooth on your performance system which you use to edit your videos, so on and so forth. So it, it has us at heart, although you have companies that might try to start a monopoly try to grab as much money they can out of us i'm wondering if you guys can see this but look at that sunset i doubt you guys will be seeing what i'm seeing with my eyes let me drop my eyes so look at that beautiful anyways let's move on 
and I am rolling. Another key advantage of this mass advancement in technology with cameras, whether it is for photography, another cool advantage of this advancement is the fact that a cinema camera that would cost thousands of dollars 10 years ago you can get for a pretty affordable price pre-owned on the market currently such as a few hundred bucks or a few thousand bucks such as Arri Alexa, RED cameras, you name it. So this advancement is allowing stuff that would cost a fortune a decade ago to be quite cheap and affordable nowadays for us filmmakers to acquire to push our content ahead of the competition. This mass improvement in technology will also force those comfortable companies to get out of their comfort zone and actually do some significant improvement with their equipment and cameras to keep up with other competitors within the camera industry. I'm not going to call any names with <coughs> Canon. <coughs> But if you look at companies like Panasonic Lumix, they have made drastic improvements and advancement over the past couple of years in their camera lineup. They recently announced their first full frame lineup of hybrid mirrorless cameras and a couple years later, Lumix now has phase detection in their hybrid mirrorless cameras. And companies such as Canon and Sony have been using phase detection for quite a while and this is Panasonic's first shot at phase detection and it's very usable, very reliable. It's almost as reliable as Sony and Canon and this is their first shot at it. So I guess some of these companies should try a bit harder to keep up with the competition in the market to give us more option and to also give us more beautiful tech for affordable prices. Sadly, I have to bring this video to an end. If you found this video interesting and informative, feel free to hit the subscribe button and the like button so the algorithm can like me some more. I'm Siobhan Beckford and do leave your thoughts on the advancement of cameras over the past decades in the comment. Remember, hit the subscribe button and the like button so I can continue making more videos like these for free. Peace.